All right. Hi, everybody. It's Brian. I'm going to show you another uh, couple features of statpowers.com. Uh, we're going to look at the normality uh, chart, uh, normality uh, test and QQ, QQ plot. So I'm going to, so if you, in statistics, of course, it's, it's very important in a lot of uh, in a lot of situations to know whether or not your data set is being or is coming from a normally distributed population so um, let's just put in some numbers here's some data and never you mind where I got it from um, I'm gonna just if you click calculate um, on your data uh, then let's go under this normality section okay um, this is giving you what's called a QQ plot uh, quantile quantile plot what we've got is um, you take your your data and your um, your sample data um, my sample data is actually uh, ranges from 0 up to about 1.5 or so um, and each of these data points is sorted in order and the value is um, it is then um, Kind of the, the theoretical quantiles are put across the uh, the the x-axis. If the mean uh, for for like a standard normal distribution, right? The um, so the with the amount of data that I have, um, the data are are plotted against the corresponding um, quantile from a standard normal distribution. So, for example, the um, the, the if I've got um, if I've got a hundred let's say I have a hundred data points so the first percentile the second percentile the third percentile the fourth percentile from a standard normal distribution are going to be the x coordinates and the y coordinate is the corresponding value from my data so I have this value close pre basically zero um, is uh, my lowest value and that corresponds to a the first percentile from a normal distribution and and on down the line so this is a way of seeing whether um, the data at a glance whether it could probably be justified as saying that it was drawn from a normal distribution if the data points fall really nicely along this red line then you are in good shape and you could probably proceed and, and you are justified in saying it's normally distributed. Um, this looks pretty bad, to be honest. The, the, the points are really far off from this red line down here. Then they go under the line and they're over the line. Um, this is not the shape that you would see if your data was normally distributed. Um, down below, we've got a, a, a test called the Shapiro-Wilkes test uh, and what you get is a test statistic it's a double U statistic I guess uh, Shapiro got the short end of the stick and they called the statistic a W statistic and um, you've got a p-value what this is talk what this is a p-value for is a hypothesis test which says null hypothesis the data was drawn from a normal distribution Alternative hypothesis, it wasn't drawn from normal distribution. The p-value is so close to zero, it rounds to zero. So it is an emphatic reject. We reject the null hypothesis. Therefore, we can be pretty sure this data does, is not drawn from a normal distribution. And in fact, if we looked at the histogram, we would see this is drawn, this, this is an exponential distribution. That's where I drew it from. Um, okay. Let's let's do just another another example, and you'll see uh, what it might look like if your data was drawn from a normal distribution. So here's another data set. Let's calculate and let's look at the histogram. Okay, that looks a lot more like a normal distribution, doesn't it? And I'm going to look at my uh, normality plot. Okay, so this is the kind of QQ plot you would see when your data is normally distributed. It is much more, much closer to the line. It goes a little bit over, it goes a little bit under here and there, but it's not as extremely bad as it was before. And um, you can see the, the Shapiro-Wilkes statistic and the p-value. You know, if, if you're rejecting at a p-value of 0.05, which is kind of typical, 
um, you would not reject this. So, you know, this is this is kind of a rough a rough rule of thumb, but you would say, okay, at 0 0.05 uh, or below, you can you can say that data is probably not coming from a normal distribution. But here, 0.116, that's high enough that it's entirely likely that data drawn from a normal distribution could give you a QQ plot that looks like that, right? So this is uh, how you can check normality of your data on stat powers. Typical statistical analysis stuff, nothing groundbreaking here, but uh, the feature is there. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye.